Okay, when your ATV is in this condition right here uh, and you can't find a replacement because there's nothing available affordable and you're waiting on parts, uh, what do you do? Hey there, Walter. Just a little farm dog. Granted, we still do have the Ranger and the Ranger's running great. Uh, sometimes it's just uh, too big and uh, you might not be able to, it might be out of somebody's price range. You might not be able to find one. Um, but there is a cheaper alternative. Uh, if you have uh, 10 acres or less, I mean, we have 40 acres and you know, UTV is pretty handy, uh, but this tractor, if I didn't have it, um, I would just use this tractor with the wagon. I mean, it would do 90% of what we use the UTV for. There's certain areas that are in the hills and in the, the wet swampier part that I, I would not be able to probably get to, but other than that, this thing will do everything. And if you've got you know, relatively flat land, uh, a little tractor like this will do almost everything a UTV can do. I mean, you can't, you know, carry multiple people, things like that, but I mean, if you're just using it for work around the homestead, uh, it's the way to go. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Okay, uh, this is a cheap alternative to a UTV. A good old used lawn tractor and a good wagon. Uh, I'm going to use the handy wagon that I did a review of, the uh, Yut Trax because of its low center of gravity and big balloon flotation tires and uh, it, the sides that you can put tool holders on, you can take the sides off. Uh, we could fit six bales pretty easily on here. Uh, and when I say a good used old tractor, uh, a lot of these older tractors are very serviceable. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, in the back, you've actually got the fuel tank, but then you've also got the transmission oil filler. Uh, you can fill the hydrostatic transmission. A lot of the newer tractors have a non-serviceable uh, hydrostatic transmission. So you get a leak, axle seal, anything like that, uh, it's non-serviceable. You're supposed to replace it. Uh, if you do have one of those, don't worry, you can fix it. I had a cheaper Cub Cadet that I got at one of the big box stores and it had a wheel that leaked and I was able to replace the seal punch a hole, the knockout cap on the top and refill it with fluid and then make a cap for the top. So, I mean, but this one, everything is serviceable. And you can see it's a little bit beefier. Uh, this thing's got a 20 horsepower Kawasaki in it. I mean, this thing is pretty old and used, but I mean, I've been using it all day. And you can see right there, I mean, it's, it needs to be cleaned the air filter again, but I mean, I've literally replaced everything on this. I replaced the carburetor, fuel filters, fuel lines, I mean, you name it, I've replaced it, but it, it, it just runs. Um, so it's, it's a good machine. I need to <laughs> clean it again. Been moving hay all day, but a uh, very good machine. Another thing uh, that we have on the property is this little hay wagon cart. I mean, you could use this. You can get these from uh, Northern Tool. I think they're like $500 for the frame. Super heavy duty frame. Um, and then build, we built a hoop top for it with fabric. We use it for a vegetable stand. But I mean, you could put, you could put little seats on here. You can carry, you know, the, do hay wagons, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and pull it with a lawn tractor. So that's a cool alternative to a UTV and pretty cheap.